Hi everyone. Today I have a Mac haul for you. And um, let's see. Let's start with the new Mac Mineralize Foundation with SPF 15. Um, I tried this for the first time this morning and I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, I needed another foundation like I didn't. <laughs> I have so many already, but I don't know. I, I didn't get this when it first came out, and I just had this like nagging voice in the back of my head telling me to try it, and I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I did. Um, it's 30, let's see, 30, $32. Um, so, you know, it's kind of expensive, but I really like it. I, I love the way it applies. I love the way it feels. It goes on like silk. Um, if you're like me, uh, an older person or someone with dry skin, this is perfect. Because um, regular foundations just don't cut it for me anymore. Now it's gonna, the, the surface is marred obviously because I've already used it. This is what it looks like, and I'm an NW20, and um, it looks kind of uh, dark in the pan, but actually I think it's a perfect match, and it's probably going to be even more of a perfect match when the warm weather comes and I can get some sun. <laughs> now I also got the 130 brush which is the brush that they've been selling with the foundation um, to use to apply it. And I can't tell you how I feel about this because I haven't used it yet. And the reason for that is when I went to buy this foundation yesterday, um, the girl gave me the wrong brush. I told her that I wanted the 130 and I got home and uh, looked in the bag and I had a 188 in the bag. I have no idea why she did that, but, um, what was I going to say? Oh, so I had to, I just got back now from going to exchange the 178, uh, I mean 188 for the 130. Uh, I would have taken it back last night, except uh, by the time I realized what had happened, the mall was already closed. But anyways, um, I'll be trying this 130 out soon and uh, I'll let you know because I think I'm going to enjoy using this. Uh, I don't have any other brushes like this so um, I'll have to I'll have to test it out and let you know what I think. Um, oh so the way I applied the foundation this morning was with a um, sponge. I, I like using those sometimes too. Um, I think you get a nice smooth even coverage and uh, then you don't have to get your fingers dirty either. <laughs> so when I went back just now I also got an eyeshadow and I had seen an ad in a magazine um, for uh, an eyeshadow palette and when I saw it I was like oh my god that is the most beautiful look so I wanted to recreate the look and I went all through my eyeshadows and it had four eyeshadows in the look and I had the white and I had the black and I had the uh, sort of teal color that they showed but the shade of blue that was in the picture I couldn't believe it I didn't have it and the reason why I say that is I have a lot of eyeshadows if you saw my makeup collection video then you can attest to that that um, I have a lot of eyeshadows so anyways I just picked up um, Deep Truth, which is part of the MAC Permanent Collection. And there's what it looks like. It's just the most beautiful shade of blue. And, um, I'll swatch it for you. See, now, this is why I hate doing swatches, because they never look on your hand the way it's going to look when I do when I use it. This is a frost, by the way, uh, because I always use eye primer and sometimes even a base on top of that. 
So this is not what it's going to look like on. So I, I really don't like to do swatches for that reason. Because in the end, it's going to look like what it looks like in the pan, which is beautiful, gorgeous shade of blue. So, uh, that's my MAC haul. Oh, and in case you were wondering, on my nails, this is what the Blue India from the Liberty of London collection looks like. Um, good, now I don't have to write it in the sidebar. <laughs> Um, it's such a dreary, miserable day out there today that I decided to do sort of uh, bright shades of makeup. I have on um, St. Germain lipstick with Electric Fuchsia lip gloss. And then on my eyes, I have four different shades of Loose Shadows by LA Colors. Um, I've had these for quite some time. And... Um, this is a look that I like to use with them. The inner third of my eyelid is a gold color. The middle is like a hot pink. The outside is a bronze. And in the crease is um, like a honeysuckle color. And then I brought that down underneath my eyes to a certain extent. And then I put um, a L'Oreal brown eyeliner on the uh, waterline. And then I've got um, my CoverGirl black and brown mascara. Um, let's see, I've got the, the MAC Mineralize Foundation. And I used um, just a little bit of Maybelline Dream Matte Powder in certain areas to set certain things. Like I used it to set my um, MAC Studio Finish Concealer. And I just used a little bit on my nose and my chin. Um, I didn't put any on the rest of my face, though. And for blush, I don't know if you guys ever tried these, but um, they're wonderful. I used the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush and Pink Frosting. I really like these, but I don't use it too often because usually I like to um, set my foundation with powder completely and if I do that then I would have to put the cream blush underneath and it's just it's kind of a pain I, I usually like to put the blush on top but you can't do that once the powders on there but anyways I'm rambling and hey at least now I told you all the products on my face so I don't have to type it in the sidebar but um, tomorrow I'm gonna have another video uh, it's going to be a collective clothing haul so I'll see you then. Bye.